Hey everybody, welcome back to Brown Thumb Nursery. I am Rob and... Hi, Fred, Sienna, and Harley, Mia. Uh, yeah, so I got some helpers here today. So uh, I don't know if you uh, notice out here, we got some trees in some pots and we're getting ready to plant them. We got a bunch of... Uh, <laughs> we got a bunch of fruit trees and what we have lined up out here is pear trees and apple trees. And we, I think we got about... One onion tree? An onion tree? No, no onion trees. <laughs> so, but anyhow, we're going to plant these in uh, a row and uh, trellis them up in a, what they call espalier type of uh, trellising. And so, but today what we're going to do is get them planted in the ground. So what we're going to do is we're going to plant these in a, a straight line in a row and a and trellis them in what they call espalier type trellising um and where they put their branches all out in different in three different we have three different rows yep. and so but right now we're getting ready to uh plant the trees in a row so first thing i gotta do is while you saw um well maybe you'll see i'll show you now we uh took the tractor with the tiller on the back really good went through it a few times um, over the last few days just to kind of get the t ground all tilled up and so we're gonna plant these in a straight row but I want to get a measurement off of the fence over there an equal distance straight along so it just looks nice and uniform so getting ready to do that I got tape measure out now getting ready to do that you guys ready girls yeah. all right let's do this all right I'm gonna okay that's fine You want me to let you down a little bit? Yeah. Can you tell how eight No! I'm not getting off! Okay. Get no, I have turned tractor on to lift it back up. All right, so now we'll go down at the other end, do that same thing. All the way to here? Yep. <laughs> How long does it take? <laughs> All the way over. So I got the, the tape measure all spread out there. I'm going to take spray paint and mark every 10 feet because that's how far apart I'm going to put them. And me. Yeah. All right, guys, so I had to go and make some uh, stakes, put in the ground because my spray paint wasn't working. So got them made, heading back out. Whoops. So I got them made, heading back out. What's up? I think I almost ran out of gas. Oh, that would be bad. Yeah. My spray paint didn't work, so I had to make some stakes to put a new spot where I'm marking it out. Oh yeah? Yeah. You're gonna spray paint the stakes? No, the spray paint isn't working. 
Oh, like not. Not working. I mean, I, yeah. So Shucks. that's all right. I got steaks made. I'm just put them in the spot where it's marked out and that'll do. That'll do. So in the past week or whatever, in preparation for making this, I put on my list to get a can of spray paint marking paint and it's still on my list, but I haven't really been to the to Lowe's to grab a thing. So you just make do with what you got. And I just had a couple scrap pieces of two before I cut them up on the table saw. You know, you could grow, run out the yard, find sticks, whatever, just something. I just need something. So anyhow, I'm getting ready to do this, mark these with these sticks. Okay, so we got all the stakes put in the ground, and that is, uh, we ended up with thir enough for 13 trees out here, and then five feet back that way, and five feet the other way will be our first post. That'll be our post that we set in concrete. That'll be get the tension and pull the cable. So anyhow, gonna get the auger and start digging some holes. Okay, so that didn't take very long. It took all of what, maybe five minutes, ten minutes total? Yeah, that wasn't bad at all. Yeah, sure beats a post hole digger, but mm -hmm. even even with a post hole digger, after tilling it up with the tractor, um, sometimes the top part of your ground is the hardest part because it's usually the driest. And, of course, we've had some rain within the last couple weeks. So, anyhow, we're going to put all the pears down here at this end, and then the apples down that way. So we're going to go ahead and get started down at this end. Let's go. carry this with me well we could go ahead and uh do the do the post one is that five foot right there can we spray paint some trees no not the trees don't don't make do the trees sure you can do the grass Okay, so we ended up, we decided we needed to stretch a string line from a stake here to a stake there so that we get, because we want our posts, when we set the posts in the ground, we want them to be like perfectly straight in line. That's kind of the point of a spalier style um, trellising. So we went ahead and 
pound of string, stretch the string, and string across the stake. Um, we're gonna, no, so we're gonna put the. Hey, 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 hold on. Hey, shh, I'm trying to do a video. He needed to holler at each other, do it over there, so not right in the camera. <laughs> um, I know what I was saying. We're also in construction, so it, we like to have things nice and straight. Yeah. It just looks better. My dad was a bricklayer, and man, he would be, we'd drive by a, a house or something, he, he'd see somebody put up like landscaping, you know, things that they'd be like out of level. That would drive him crazy because he's a bricklayer. You know, his landscaping stones need to be level too, right? So, so I, all growing up, that's just, and probably you because of me. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we like things to be level and straight or completely random. Like at the other place we did the, uh, what do you call it? What do we call that? The um, food forest where we just tried to make it like oh. not look like a, you know, orchard or anything. So that, so it's either straight or totally random anyhow we're uh we got the string stretched out and now we're going to plant the trees all nice and straight so now the four by fours that we put in when we stretch the string to put those they'll be able to go beside the trees because um the trees are going to go down basically down the center and so we'll be able to stretch the string again once we set these posts which should be pretty soon but the important thing right now today is to get these trees in the ground. Let's do it. Let's. Time to get dirty. You know what? We should do a. Uh, should we? Uh, Granny Smith for Elise for the very first one. Okay. You're gonna swap it out. Yeah. Go ahead. Go ahead. I'll stay here. All right, you stay there. Hold I will. that spot. I'm gonna hold down the ground. You gonna help me hold down the dirt? Huh? You gonna help me hold the dirt down? Uh -huh. You just gotta sit on it. Yep. yep, good job. Yep, just like that. Okay. Just hold it here so it doesn't move. It's kinda sticky anyway. It is kinda sticky, isn't it? There's probably some clay in there. Yeah. This is pretty nice actually. Yeah. You know, as far as Alabama dirt goes, this ain't bad. Yeah, not bad at all. Well, we're the topsoil part started getting down into the clay. Yeah, I noticed that was yeah. definitely clay. Yeah. You want a knife? Yeah, you got one. Well, they weren't playing around when they tied these off. <laughs> and the bottom. You want to just take, you're just taking the one. So I'll leave for those now. bound. Yeah, for now, we're going to probably plant two or three of them. Okay. Well, two at least. So. Are you going to put this in your pocket? I'm going to go grab I the trash know. can. You don't have pockets? I know this. Hey, this is twisted together. I can grab With thing. metal. These pliers? I might be able to untwist it. So, so, what's this? Yeah. Like yeah, it wouldn't hurt. Yeah. So, we'll see. Let's see. I'm going to leave some of this one over. Oh, if you want, you can hold the dirt down over there. I don't care. This is the clay part. Yeah, it just take a lot less time. Yeah, we've had something to cut this with. Yeah. That's perfect. This is so cool. Yeah, it's kind of like clay. Yeah, it's like play it or something. Here, for it's like play on that. It's like it has play on it's it. Clay. It's clay. Clay mm -hmm. is something uh, kind of like play doh. That some people make bowls and, and vases out of clay. And they're really good at it. I made a ball. <clears throat> this is Granny Smith. This is my mom's favorite. Really? Apples. Granny Smith apples, yeah. Look, it looks like these kind of apples. Yeah. So your mom's favorite apple? Yeah. Elise's favorite apple. You know what? This is clay. Hey, <laughs> what about this? Get down there. So, 
has black in it too. What does? This the dirt. Does it? Yeah. Interesting. Maybe sometimes the dirt, the black dirt goes in this thingy. That's because dirt is kind of like brown. Well, it is brown. Hey, I could do this. That was, those roots were nice and saturated. Ow. Did you want to put anything in here with these? No, not plant? necessarily, but we need to make sure that the uh, roots, the root, the, the, uh, that's the graft there, that. and the root ball do needs that. to be like level with the ground, Baby. so we need to pull it up. I don't want those. Throw them away. Pull it up. Pull it up. What? Well, Throw once we pl plane this down, these these are ridges from when we went in the ground, oh, right? Let's see what it looks like. Ooh, we'll help. Pick up a little bit more because we're going to be putting mulch in there. So. Okay. Uh, we are going to have to put all these on this side. Yep. Now that I did that. Yep, that's fine. Mm -hmm. I put a little bit of clay you know what, Let's go ahead and put one of these. Yellow. What are these? The yellow delicious. Ooh. Let's do one, one of those, one of these, one of those, one of these, and then we'll continue. That way we'll have wait, two of each. What are doing? The apples over there. Well, we're doing a couple. Oh wait, of wait! You're right. We're and doing it backwards we could do now. Them over here. We're. Uh, we can put them over here. Fine. We can put look, a, look, look, four look. apples. We can do whatever we want. We can. See them all. This is our place. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> you want to leave? Totally yeah, you want to leave this with that? Yeah. Oh, is there no tag on it? Hmm. Yeah, this looks paper. Yep, that's paper. Well, we're, we're going to have to put definitely put it back um, in there. Put it back in there and put a rock on it or dirt clod until we go back and make um, what? tags. Yeah. Cool. Tags or it's documentation. Cool. Yeah. Look, I made a ball too. Yeah. I can't do it. My hand. <laughs> well, I it. I, I yeah, we need some of this. Yeah, well, don't take it off of this because we need it to hold it down. Uh, I'm not sure. How about we put some of it on it? All right, Eden. Yeah, okay, I'm gonna. See, when these are done, I'm gonna start eating them. What? When these are done growing, I'm gonna start eating them. Yeah. Isn't that going to be awesome? Yeah. Hopefully here in the next couple of years we'll get a couple of hours. Ha ha, I get some money in it. So another thing we need to think about is the later. branches that we have. Can we help them? Oh yeah. We need to put the, put the main branches that we That one's actually not doing too bad yeah, the way I planted fine. it, but I will definitely stay conscious yeah. of that from yeah. now on. And stuff like this, where these two are growing together, one of these has got to go. Yep. I don't know which one has to go. Which one? You think so? Yeah. But this one's damaged. That one. Are you sure? Yeah. Well, what do you got there? Okay. A ball of clay. Yeah. All right, so let's let's talk to Is them about that. This well, is a tree. Can you make a ball? A little tree. No? Can you make a ball? No, stay here, but not going to stuff in the hole. So you got to stay conscious of the way you plant these when you're doing this spalier. Yeah. And you need you to want them to stay more. in line. The branches to stay in line as best you can. That way you get a good start. So which one, which way do you think? I think this one and this me. one are kind of going Thank off in the back. same direction. Yeah, because we can but we can bend that one down. See this, this is kind of snapped. This is bad. This is gonna... That's snapped. This is rough here. You know what, I'm going to go get some pruners. Let's just get the ones out of the way that are. That's not big enough. Yeah, let me go grab something. Why are you doing that? Because. We yeah. got some of them have to go. What? I 
you put some of them here to go. Yeah. Rest in peace. <laughs> Rest in stick. Yeah. You're not holding the ground down very good. Who? Neither of you. Oh. The ground's about to float away. I told you. I knew you could do it. So what are you going to do with these, these ones That's here? That's kind of what I was yeah, thinking. So do it just like that. Hold on. Who does? Oh, some of that nice stuff up here. <laughs> No, man. Yeah. Stay down. That's why I drank some of it. So I could put it on each one of them. Alright. Damn. You ready to put that off too? The bottom one's kind of damaged, but it's taller. Well, we don't want, so we just, what we need next is um, the main leader to come out so we can get, um, get some new side branches. So we need this to be kind of straightened out, actually, yeah. but kind of is what it is. So I think we'll just take this one. And then this will be our central leader. Yes. Be nice to put a stick against that and try to gradually kind of pull it to straightness. I think the I think the wire will do a fine enough job. Hearing that won't straighten about, this up though. Oh. Here in about two years, you won't be able to tell the difference. All right. You got all that? How did where did you get that? Where did you okay, get Okay, so that? that's one. Sour. Or one Granny Smith and one Yellow Delicious. Yep. So, ready for another Granny Smith? Do what? Another Granny Smith? Almost done. We're almost done. <laughs> ah! Oh wow, that's smelling. Oh, serious? Here we go. Come on. Yeah. 
Oh. No. We're not gonna play swords. I don't wanna hear you girls cry because you smack your fingers. Okay. Or if you wanna play swords, play it somewhere else. Okay. That way I can't hear you when you cry. <laughs> You like the orientation? I mean, that's about as good. That one's good. This one, let's spin it just a little bit more. Like that? Yeah, but it's up against the screen. That's about it. <laughs> Go ahead, tell the people what they want to hear. Yeah. So we uh, we did this row. Got 13 trees all nice in a row there. Got all, all our ducks in a row and our fruit trees. We don't have ducks. We have fruit trees. But they're in a row. But now we have lots more fruit trees still. We have, what do we have, four, four or five more apple trees. We was thinking about going that direction on the proper alongside the property line but we've kind of ruled that out so now we're thinking we're just going to go about eight foot over and till up another path and do those and we got a bunch of plum trees and peach trees maybe some nectarines i don't know we got a bunch of fruit stone fruit trees and i've done some research to see if you can do the stone fruit fruits in the espalier type of style and i've seen a few pe few people on youtube do it but n that's just the doing it part never the follow-up you know saying hey here's what it looks like after five years and it's working great so i called petals from the past and uh dr powell is i left a message he's going to call me back um and talk to him about that so hopefully um i'm uh, i'll get an answer about that from him and but in the meantime i'm gonna go ahead and till up another row because we do have many more apple trees a few more apple trees and um so anyhow here i go with the tiller Okay, everybody, it's the next day. Uh, I came back after lunch and tried. Well, well we oh. <laughs> tried to get. So we, I tried to get the um, post hole digger started after we came back from. We went to Mother and Father in Law's for lunch and came back just about dark. And I tried and tried and tried. And my arm's sore from trying to jerk on that thing. And so anyhow, I couldn't get anything more done, but I, I got the other row uh, tilled up. You can see see there the tilled, tilled up row. We got it all measured out. It's ready to uh, start digging holes. So I'm getting, I got the things, I must have flooded it yesterday or something because it started up pretty decent this morning. So I'm gonna go ahead and start digging some holes. Get these other plant, trees planted.
by the way, I wanted to take this opportunity to wish you everybody a Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. What? Merry Christmas songs. Yeah, so Merry Christmas, everybody. Um, we're out here. It is the day before Christmas Eve today. You won't see it today, obviously, because it takes a while to get stuff edited and all that stuff. But anyhow, I uh, got that, those holes dug. It's amazing how quick it goes once you can finally get the uh, post hole digger started. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and gather up some trees. All the other trees that I've got, other than these couple apple trees, are still back there in the back where I was able to water them. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, kind of lay them out. I've got one more Grimes Golden that, uh, that I'm still going to get. And so I'm going to leave a space on the very far end for that. And then I'm going to do... I'm going to put the apples on each end and then all of the stone fruits in the middle um and then uh so yeah because i haven't i haven't heard back from dr powell yet about whether this this espalier style trellising will work for stone fruits and i have kind of a half and half feeling about it you know stone fruits don't have like a central leader or at least you don't usually train them up that way and then let me just show you on an apple tree so like here's here's the apple tree and it's got that central leader that it will just continue to go straight up and from that you'll continue to get different scaffolding branches so now this will be the the first layer of the spalier trellising this section will be the next layer and then up here that we'll get more so we're gonna have three layers so with the stone fruits that's my concern is that i won't get three layers of good branching to go but i'm gonna go ahead and plant them in there don't don't bring the blueberries is that blueberries yeah. check and see you can bring the peaches and plums So anyhow, sorry, the grandkids are trying to bring stuff over and help, and they're such good helpers. So anyhow, um, so that's my concern, is to, um, will I have enough branching to continue all three levels of the trellising? So, but I'm gonna go ahead and plant them in here, and if it doesn't work, then it'll be a good experiment for you to learn on from over the next couple years as we see the growth. So make sure you subscribe to check back because this is this is a permanent fixture in our front lawn here and um so uh you'll be able to check back and see the progress and whether it worked or didn't work so anyhow i'm gonna go ahead and get uh get these laid out first where they're going so we got a dorset apple that's a good this end one's a good spot for that i'll do that there i'm just gonna go ahead and do this Honeycrisp. No, that's the honeycrisp already planted. Gala. And the golden delicious, which maybe I'll put that down here and take that one down there. That's what I'll do. Okay, well, I'll help when I can get over there. Don't shoot it
a little Polish boy. <laughs> no. Oh, man. Hold on. Oh. Let me get it positioned right here. Okay. Ready? So one of the things too that I don't think I've talked about yet is what we're going to do and why I tilled this all up in a, in a path and that is that I'm going to take and um, put some ground cover down here and, and some comfrey for some nitrogen fixation and all of that. So um, the ground cover I'm going to use is uh, strawberries. Now if you watch Billy from Permapastures you, you know all about that. Uh, how he uses strawberries for ground cover and then you get all kinds of bushels of strawberries from it so I'm not opposed to that at all right so many of you know we have a channel called keto and cast iron where we are doing the keto uh, diet or lifestyle whatever you want to call it but strawberries are on our diet um, as far as that so we got blueberries we got uh, over there getting ready to plant and strawberries and we're going to plant blackberries all of those anything with a berry is uh, awesome for the keto diet but anyhow so that's what's he going to go wants down here more berry fluff i'm just saying oh she makes this keto <laughs> thing that's it's got all kinds of berries in it that's like with cool whip or whipped cream or homemade whatever. whipped cream homemade whipped cream and it's just really good that last time we made ice cream we don't try yeah and that tasted good. We wanted more. You're right. That's good stuff. I'm get one line here. I'm just going to be fight to try to get them things. Stay off the string, sweetie. I'm not on the string. You're really close to it. Okay, dump it. Bam, bam, bam. Go put it in the take the container and put that with the containers. Watch. I don't think you stomped the other one down, did you? Let's do the next one. No, you can go back. Okay, everybody, we got 23 plant uh, trees planted today and yesterday. There's three more spots. Uh, we're waiting on three more to go. So, um, they're coming. yeah, they're coming. They're on their way. I'm waiting on my supplier. Um, but you can kind of see the two rows down there and that's what they look like. Let's walk kind of scan through there and show them what we got. We're going to be doing a lot of freak stuff, huh? Well, yeah. here in a little while, it'll take a little bit. Yep. So I'll put a, uh, list of everything that I, that we have planted um kind of on the screenshot or something so that you can see that because we didn't talk about every variety but yeah there they are looking pretty good hopefully everything grows if not we'll replace it with the same thing <laughs> so Ooh, but some of it we've got more than one yeah some of them we got two and so yeah there you go and then we had extras of some of them and we potted up some of them and we have to go get more potting soil to pot up the rest so yep. anyhow very cool okay so thanks for hanging out with us everybody um hopefully you enjoyed this video and hang around uh subscribe so that you can come along and see the updates of this espalier type of uh trellising and see what you think about it maybe it's something you want to try or uh this is kind of an experimental with the stone fruits with the peaches and plums so you'll definitely want to check back and see how that works out i'm anxious to find out how it works out honestly myself so so thanks for hanging out with us make sure you get out there and get your thumbs brown and god bless and merry christmas merry, merry christmas. christmas bye all